So this is a question I think a lot of people are asking. I'm asking and it came up again when I was just looking at some reviews of people who have taken the pure brand of the acetylglutathione and um, it came up about, you know, what happens when you stop taking this? As you know, glutathione isn't necessarily the cheapest supplement on the market, and especially if you're looking to have like really extreme changes as far as, you know, your skin, um, brightness, color, tone. I mean, obviously you'd want to keep that up for as long as possible. So just taking it for six months and stopping, you know, for a good reason, people would be worried. I think most people who talk about the side effects and the changes being permanent, um, almost all of them are talking about after years of use. So that's not just one year of routinely taking glutathione, that's like after about two years, if not longer. I was looking at a person who, you know, said they'd been using this product in particular for about a year. They're doing the 600 milligram a day and um, they take it on an empty stomach, which I began doing too. And so it's funny, a lot of what she said I've already noticed and I guess I'll just read it. I like how she, she points out that, um, you know, her color is different and that it has more of like a pinkish look, not so much pale. I think we've all seen those on not only YouTube, but just the internet of lightning so much that they kind of lose all color. Um, it definitely looks like a, a different type of undertone. It's not really warm, it's not really cool. It's it's almost grayish. So I like that she said that, you know, at least she kept some of, you know, her color, like, you know, she has some pink undertone. Um, she did say what I think a lot of people are saying about this brand is that she went down two shades. So if you're looking to get a little more, it looks like this will take you to around that and then I don't know if it stops. Uh, I know one viewer said she just placeboed and you know never really changed anymore. It, it's hard to know like first off what was her first goal and you know what did she start out as. Um, I think for some people two shades is good for others they're like looking for more. For me it's like it's kind of hard for me to gauge how much really is two shades like <laughs> I don't know. Um, I wish like they had some type of like measurement tool so like you could see okay this is what one shade is this is what two shades down this is what three to me it sounds like two shades it's a lot but that's just me um she did say that she noticed that her energy levels like basically stay up all day even after work um that is the first thing i noticed that is the first thing i noticed and i didn't just notice it with this brand because i've only been on this brand for three days um the liposomal um, glutathione that I have also I noticed that as well that all of a sudden I was going from being always tired like waking up staying in bed for way too long me wanting to take naps during the day or even going to bed super super early even though like I slept in for a good amount of time I noticed I went from that to as soon as I wake up I'm just ready to get up I'm just ready to get up start my day also at night I don't feel like I have to like pass out at eight or nine. Um, I, I just feel fine. I don't feel overly tired. Not only that, I'm staying to sleep longer. So I think that's just a side effect of glutathione in general. So it doesn't, it doesn't necessarily have to be this brand. Just you just getting back on glutathione. Like all of a sudden I have the energy to do and get a lot of stuff done. And um, I don't know, I, I just feel better. I'm focusing more, I'm able to get things done. So I see that this is also used in children who have autism and I'm wondering, um, like what is glutathione supposed to do for them? Is it allowing them to focus more? Like what, what is it doing for their brain? Um, I just thought that was really interesting. Uh, so another thing that she pointed out was, I've seen some research claiming that our system will become dependent to supplementation of glutathione in order for our body to generate energy. This is something I'm most frightened about. This product is expensive and while I can still afford it at this point in my life, I can keep on buying. But what will happen when I lose my buying power later on? And um, I mean, yeah, that's that's like a good thought. Um, she's talking as far as generating energy. So of course I had to go back and I had to think about when I started taking glutathione and um, I did it for a year, you guys were with me so you know all the different brands that I tried and what methods I was using for that year. Um, I think I was only on liposomal glutathione uh, 
well, professionally made liposomal glutathione for maybe two to three months of my journey. So out of that year, the rest of it had been reduced glutathione. Um, and then I think I had a month in there, maybe a month and a half of S-acetyl. When I stopped, which was closer to around February, maybe March, I think February is when like I slowed down. So sometimes I would just take it twice a week. Sometimes I'd go a whole week without taking. So I'll say I stopped around February. Um, when I stopped, I kind of noticed that uh, I didn't notice right off the bat, but now looking back, I can see my energy levels were just the lowest it had been since I had been taking it. I guess I had gotten so accustomed to just being one way. Um, once I stopped, I just slowly started changing and transitioning, but also we had a lot of things going on in the world. So it's like being tired and lethargic. I mean, I think most people were tired and lethargic. There wasn't much to do. So I didn't really think about it too much, but now after i told you guys like my roommate had said that she thinks that i have chronic fatigue there wasn't like any amount of sleep that was enough um i was always tired and just i really just didn't have a lot of energy to do much like outside of like just working so i'm kind of worried about this too now i looked into this just seeing um if your body does get used to glutathione um, to generate energy and basically it's going to stop working as hard to naturally make its own energy and I really couldn't find anything about it um, so you know I wish she would have gave more information about where she researched this who said this but I can already say I kind of think it might be true <laughs> Just looking at the past five to six months of my life and how I was then and versus how I am now getting back on it Like I just feel more like myself. So that might be something you have to look into um, To me the answer is just I'm always gonna have to take some glutathione I might not need to take 600 milligrams of S-acetyl every day But I think I might just have to continue even when I'm done using it um, you know for skin health because yeah, I don't want to go back to being tired all the time. So this might be more of a permanent thing for me just because I'm kind of like connecting the dots and putting two and two together. And if you guys have seen anything about that, about your body getting dependent on it and basically needing it for energy levels and things like that, then, you know, please let me know. Uh, as far as skin, we already know this is something you need to take for multiple years. So I don't want anyone to get the idea that, okay, three months I'm done, six months I'm done, nine months I'm done, or a year that you're done. Um, because I think I'm a pretty good example. I did it for a year and, you know, things still started to change. Now, mind you, I was out in the sun and I was doing like lots of activities um, where I was like in a bikini. So, you know, <laughs> obviously my results started to just revert back yeah i don't know how i feel about that <laughs> but I, I will say like it's great it's wonderful energy feels great i feel more focused and yeah i just feel good as far as the physical changes um it's too soon to start seeing the physical changes but just i don't know i'm already like really happy with it um and then you know i was going through some of the other reviews and mostly just people saying you know it's too much money <laughs> or please make a bigger bottle uh, 60 isn't enough so i will say that i'm i am excited with this brand but for some people who are looking for more drastic results just from the response that i've gotten from viewers who've already taken this product long term it's looking like if you're looking for something really really dramatic um you might either have to like take a crazy amount i don't know what a crazy amount is but you might need help from other sources. You might not just be able to rely on this because I've I've now seen two people say about the same thing. They went down two shades. So if you're looking for something with a little bit more, then I don't know. But I found it just interesting that after a while, some people are just noticing that, you know, you just kind of plateau and nothing else really happens from there. Um, so if two is what you want, like I said, for me, I really can't even measure what two shades down looks like. So I think I'll just be happy with what I'm doing. But um, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> I'm going to do three months of this. So yeah, just stay tuned.